Hello, I've gotten a bunch of requests to do a sketchbook tour and I'm finally back from university so here it is. This is the Moleskin art sketchbook and it's the kind with thicker pages. I have a lot of junk tucked in the front here. I think this is a parking receipt from when I went to Universal Studios with my boyfriend. And here's a drawing that I did in a museum where they gave you the paper and materials. Just have a blank page in the front here. And there's actually a ton of drawings of my boyfriend in the sketchbook, so skip to near the end if you want to see more gouache paintings. This is a watercolor painting I did of him on our first long trip together. This is my friend Ian, another watercolor painting that I did. And this is one of my high school classmates, Moesha. I did a lot of watercolor paintings of my friends at the beginning of the sketchbook. Here's my friend Kathleen. She's also an artist. Here's my friend Cindy when she had pink hair. We met in architecture school and I also had pink hair at some point. Here is a painting that I really hated so I stuck this drink sticker on it. If I recall correctly, the drink tasted really bad. On the left hand side here, I have some drawings that I did while I was waiting for a plane to go visit my boyfriend in Boston. On the right hand side, at the top, there's a drawing I did when we went to eat dim sum. And at the bottom, we visited the Harvard Natural Science Museum. This is on a plane together with my boyfriend. I think we went to Mexico. Here is another drawing of my boyfriend. Uh, his back. I got permission to show this, I promise. This ink drawing on the left, Boston to Toronto, so I guess I was waiting for a plane. Angela Baby on the right in watercolor, and the first gouache painting makes its appearance on the left, though I actually did that a lot later. Here's a watercolor painting of some legs, and I think I tried again in blue, but it didn't look so good the second time around. And here's an ink sketch I did while I was waiting for someone in Kitchener. Here's a watercolor painting of someone else I met in architecture school. This is Ella. I'm always happy to paint people I know and of course women of color. And then this is one of my friends from engineering. Her name is Corrine. She's a total cutie pie. Here's an interesting spread. It's two gouache paintings, but the one on the left was actually done almost two years later. Um, you can see that the technique that I use is a little bit different. So on the right, the gouache I was using was reconstituted from dry and it's a bit patchier and the painting on the left is more opaque and smoother. Here's another gouache painting that I did around the same time as the painting on the left earlier. This is in Cupertino, I was doing an internship there. And on the right side, the sketch I think is somewhere in Ottawa? I don't know, somewhere in Canada, I forget. That's why it's always good to remember to write down the date and the place. I did these sketches in New York. And here are some rough pencil sketches. On the right is my friend Erica from high school. For a while she was my most drawn person, but I think my boyfriend has taken that spot. Speaking of which, on the right, that's him studying. I was visiting him in Boston. And on the left are some more airport drawings. And another one of him studying. This is watercolor this time. Poor guy, he was really busy at the time. I visit him when I have a break, so I was just doing nothing. On the left is a gouache painting of a street in Tokyo. And on the right is a little sketch I did for an oil painting. On the left is a place near Land's End in San Francisco, California, and on the right is a watercolor portrait. These are mismatched in date and time too, the one on the left is around two years later. I did these two drawings while I was doing an internship and so I had a lot of sticky notes, and I think I drew this with gel pens at my desk and then I stuck it on later. And I think this one, I just decided to use a sticky note for texture to make it look cooler. Here's another gouache portrait. I was really happy with how this one turned out. The model is super beautiful. Though you can see this is from when I first started using gouache, so the texture is a bit patchier than what I would like now. Here's another watercolor painting. 
And I think I found this reference on the Instagram account, More Models of Color. It's a really great place for portrait references. Here's a painting that I kind of messed up, but luckily I took a picture of it beforehand, so I'll show you that here too. Here are two portraits. The one on the left is from two years later than the one on the right, or one, one or two years later. I wanted to reclaim this page because I didn't like the one on the right. Here is a bird. I love birds. They're so cute. And Hwasa on the right. Watercolor bird. Here's another early gouache painting of a landscape in Revelstoke in British Columbia. This is definitely before I got a hang of gouache and the thickness that I prefer. I really enjoy doing ink pen drawings on long commutes. Here are some that I did on the way to work on the TTC. It's always easy to get sleeping targets in the mornings. They basically don't move at all, so it's really easy to draw them. And everyone's too sleepy to pay attention to you anyways. Here are some more. Sleeping people as targets are easy. People on phones are easy too. After work, it's a bit harder to get people because they'll suddenly wake up and move, but mornings are definitely the best time for this. So I dropped out of architecture school, but I still went to visit my friends sometimes. So this is me drawing them while they're hard at work on their studio projects. My friend Cindy on the left, Ian in the middle, and then CJ on the right. Some more random small sketches and notes. Here is a gouache painting I did of the classic girl with a pearl earring. My goal here was to subvert some beauty standards by giving her eye bags. I have really bad eye bags, so I was like, I will give her eye bags too. <laughs> This is another gouache painting of a musician called Kwe. I hope I didn't pronounce that wrong. It could be Kwa Yi too. I've never heard it spoken. Here's another spread where the painting on the left is done a lot later than the drawing on the right. This is a gouache painting of a neighborhood in Tokyo that I did. And then here's another drawing of my boyfriend. This one was for his 25th birthday. Here are two more gouache paintings. On the left, it's a street scene from Kyoto. It's from a picture that I took there. And on the right, it is Nami Fujisan on Instagram. Here are some more gouache paintings. A little itty bitty one of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco on the bottom right. A sticker from when I went to the Legion of Honor Museum and two portraits. Here's another watercolor painting of my boyfriend on the left, and then another portrait on the right. This is a plein air painting that I did on the coast of California. I don't remember where. And here are some more in California. I did, as I mentioned, an internship there and did lots of painting. This is a really fast watercolor painting I did while at the top of some museum in San Francisco. I also went to a lot of life drawing sessions while I was there, and this is a portrait I did at one of them. I did a still life of random stuff in the fridge at my internship corporate housing on the left, and on the right is a gouache painting from a photo I took back in first year of a university. On the left is another portrait painting session that I went to. You can see I've been improving at gouache. On the right, this was a view on the way home from San Francisco towards South Bay. I drew a little diagram, C was driving, Alice was in the passenger seat, Thomas was to my left, and I was sitting on the bottom right of that diagram, as you can see. Speaking of Thomas, we did a lot of still life paintings together and we went to buy pastries, like the one on the left. It was very tasty. This is watercolor. And then on the right is a still life that he set up with a plate and a cup from a thrift store, a pastry, and some figs. And on the left is another still life we attempted. 
I think he spent a lot of his energy setting it up and then ran out for the painting and it's actually really hard for me to paint. Here's a Totoro background scene. I love doing Studio Ghibli studies. This is a Ponyo study. I love Ponyo, so cute. Here's a watercolor painting of the Wizard Nebula. One of my coworkers during that internship took a lot of star pictures. And here is a gouache painting of some mushrooms. All of these are from reference photos that I took a couple years ago. These are so pretty but definitely poisonous. Here's another gouache painting of driving home on the 401. I'm very extra with colors. On the left is a painting of salt flats in Bolivia. And then on the right is a market in Huangshi, which is in China. This is from a photo that I took. And that's it for the sketchbook. I still have some others that I think I'll try and film and show you guys. Pocket in the back has a bunch of random junk from the time period I was working on the sketchbook. And if you've made it all the way here, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.